A computer vision project for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a car counter using Python and object detection AI. I set up a camera outside my bedroom window. This street going up leads to the freeway. I start a new file. I call it view camera and I'm going to write Python code. Import CV2. I'm going to use OpenCV to read the camera and display it on screen. I'm going to have this while loop, which says, Hey, read this camera forever, unless you don't have an image or unless I press the letter Q to exit the program. All right, it's working. As we build each piece incrementally, we'll want to visually confirm each piece here. I make another file called detector. This will be for my AI object detection. I take a still image from my camera because I'm going to use it for my detector. I'm going to use this AI model called Detectron 2. It's made by Facebook. Every AI model has a little bit different syntax. If they happen to have this thing called a notebook, we can go in there and find some of the code samples. I copy the code over and I run Detectron on my still image. Let's see. It thinks this is a train here. It thinks this is a TV, but look, it got most of the cars and we can filter out some of the noise later. Let's stop for a moment. What this file does exactly is it loads up that one still image, runs that image through the Detectron, visualize it and displays it on screen. Now our main file is already going to be reading and displaying an image. So the only part of this new detector file that we want to take out is that running the image through the detector. So let's refactor the code. I'm going to make this a class called detector, which I will later import into my main camera reading file. Yeah, look at this. Now see how the detector is flickering all these different colors on the objects. That's because we're not keeping track of each object across the different frames. We need to build a tracking mechanism to do this. A simple way to track is to compare the boxes from one frame to the next frame. And if the boxes are overlapping, we'll say that's the same car. There are other ways to track. Even OpenCV has tracking algorithms built in, but let's start with the simple thing first and see if it works. All right, my next problem. Right now, Detectron is just drawing all the detections on screen for me, but I want access to the boxes so I can do my own calculations. How are we gonna get those boxes? Well, we need to understand more of the syntax for Detectron. We can either go through the documentation of Detectron or the code of Detectron, or we can just do this hacky guess and check. Usually when we run this file, the Python interpreter is gonna go through the whole file all at once. We can use this IPython trick to interrupt the code, and now we can play with the variables at this point in the code. I'm gonna print out this variable outputs. It's a whole big blob, but I bet my boxes are somewhere in there. I use this dir command to show me some of the methods that this outputs has. And get fields, that's probably what I want, just guessing based on the name. The fields is like a Python dictionary. Here we have pred boxes. These are the boxes for each of the objects on screen. Scores, how confident the AI is in each box detection. Pred classes, this is like what type of object is on screen. Two is probably cars because we have lots of twos. And 62 and 6, probably TV and train. Pred mask is probably used for coloring in those objects on screen. Out of all this, we want the pred boxes, right? The boxes for the tracking. And let's use this pred classes as well. I can tell the program, only give me the object if the object class is 2. I visualize the boxes on screen to make sure that these pred boxes are indeed the boxes we expected. Most of these boxes pretty accurately contain the car, but there's some cases of double or triple boxing, but we can filter based on the size of the box and get rid of some of that noise. I make a new file and a class called tracker, which I can then import into my main file later. Here's where I use ChatGPT. For each of the boxes, I basically have a top left corner and a bottom right corner. I also happen to know that there's this commonly calculated thing in computer vision called intersection over union. I copy ChatGPT's code into my tracker class. For each tracked object, I can give it its own color. Now we can see that it's working. Now to count the cars, I draw a line on screen. Why? Because I don't care about all the cars. I just care about the cars going across this line up towards the freeway. So I'm going to write a function. Imagine that I have two line segments. One is for this line that I just drew, and one is from the tracked car. And I want the function to return true if the lines cross and false if the lines don't. Here's where we can use ChatGPT again. And I need a way to validate whether my program is working. So I'm going to turn the cars black whenever they've crossed. Now I'm counting the cars. You can either cross going up or you can cross going down. I use ChatGPT again to display the counts on screen. Again, I'm trying to visually check when a car has crossed either up or down, do the counts reflect that? 
Now we can collect data. Eventually, we'll want to visualize that data. So I'm going to output the counts every 30 seconds. It's basically outputting the timestamp along with up and down counts. I use a Python library called matplotlib to visualize the data. Now we can see the total number of cars in each direction up until the point where I turned off the system. Early in the day, there's not too many cars. 8.50 is when there are the most cars on the street. This data can be used by the city for infrastructure planning or for construction scheduling. I made the code available for you. There's a link in the description.